Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets, which channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching, accounting, economics, business and law through this channel. I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. If anybody is not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at MMTLP and looking at one of the big fudsters, Gary Gasparino, who's just been exposed. We're also going to be looking at a key message for Congress hearings and also looking at Tiximal CADL, Candel Therapeutics, which has been having a huge run up. So stay tuned for that. So before we get started, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So first of all, uh, breaking news in terms of US non-farm payrolls so there was good news so the u.s march non-farm payrolls were up by 303,000 compared to the estimated 212,000, and uh, previously the figure was 270,000. so what does this mean so basically the economy has added on an extra 303,000 jobs the u.s unemployment rate has gone down from 3.9 percent to 3.8 percent so that is quite significant wage growth has de uh, decelerated in line with the expectations so that could potentially be good news for inflation and overall the job market is looking much much better so how does that affect the probability of um, a rate cut so if we give a shout out here to stock market news we can see here they're saying the market is now pricing in a higher chance that jerome powell uh, we'll look at the Fed rate rises in the next meeting and potentially look at, at a cut. So hopefully that happens. And uh, in other news with regard to a false rumor, shout out here to Stock Market News. We've just posted that Elon Musk has commented on the article from Reuters about Tesla and basically stated Reuters is lying again. So what Reuters initially stated is that Tesla is focusing on developing self-driving robot taxis and looking at cancelling its plans for a low-cost car so this was not true so before we look at Gary Gasparino being exposed a shout out here to FINRA who posted earlier today gear up for the FINRA annual conference from May the 14th to the 16th and must attend gathering to discuss the hot topics of financial crime risk management and more so I certainly hope they are true to their word and what I have done tagging them in is stated that one of the things they need to look at is the biggest financial crime in history as far as we're concerned is the MMTLP fiasco so they need to reinvestigate this but with added transparency and testing testimony from all the actors involved including the insiders of FINRA who blue sheeted uh, the, the data and also highlighted the suspicions of fraud now we all know who these people are and I'm sure FINRA knows who these people are so we just need that transparency and uh, mess key message in terms of Congress from Sui Singh who stated every call is logged and you can call every day uh, your call log matters and have your rep reach out to uh, James Comer and also on who is on the GOP oversight committee and have him set a date for the MMTLP hearing ASAP. So calls have uh, never been easier and nothing to explain. Just get your message and log the calls. So before we look at Gary Gasparino being exposed, shout out here to Gary Bernstein, who is the person exposing him and he's an executive producer. He's worked at Fox Network, Columbia Pictures Television, Paramount, MGM, the highest uh, rated show on six different networks so certainly he is a, a prominent social media personality so let's have a look at his post about Gary Bernstein and we can see here what he's dated is um, uh, sorry about Gary Gasparino he stated monitoring, monitoring the account of Gary Gasparino keeping records as he deletes evidence known as the obstruction of justice uh, and again this is uh, quite significant we have thousands of screenshots plus all deleted will be recovered forensically his days of tormenting the general public and retail investors are over so um, Gary Gasparino as a reminder has a significant problem with the MMTLP community he has a significant amount of hatred for people who have lost money for some reason he uh, wants to attack them and he has been doing that for a long time so he's uh, made fun of people who have lost money so what Gary has also stated here with the screenshot oops Gary Gasparino um, and we can see here he's talked about local idiot tweets with needles sticking in the name he's tagging in the AMC community the BBBY community and also MMTLP so he has he has certainly been one of those people who's just appeared from nowhere uh, so uh, the suspicions are that he is certainly paid to do this 
uh, but um, because otherwise he has no vested interest in MMTLP whatsoever. Uh, another breaking news from Gary Bernstein, he stated breaking news, Gary Gasparino just blocked me a few minutes ago. He foolishly thinks that will stop me from monitoring his account. Uh, he's got fo uh, multiple people monitoring his account. Good luck with that li little um, uh, stunt you've just played, Gary Gasparino, and you are truly pathetic. And I think the uh, whole of the MM2 LP community will second that. And finally, I'm going to have a look at Tixamal CADL, also known as Candel Therapeutics. It's a stock that was shared in our Discord in our stock alerts yesterday. And also uh, there was some breaking news that was also shared yesterday uh, where we can see that the company announced positive interim data. So we're going to have a look at that shortly. But before we do that, let's have a look at the chart. So this is a stock that has had a staggering run. Uh, so over the previous five days, we can see it is up currently over 400 percent. But at one time it was also up in excess of ten dollars. And I think it also reached a price of $11. It has a, had a little bit of a pullback since then, but today at time of editing, still up in excess of 37% at $8.82. So uh, I know a number of people have made significant profits in this, so congratulations to them. But let's find out about a little bit about the company. So Candel Therapeutics, we can see here is a clinical stage bio company focused on developing off the shelf uh, multimodal uh, biological immunotherapies. Uh, that elicit an individualized system, system, uh, system, systemic anti-tumor immune response to help patients fight cancer. So certainly positive there. And the company have two clinical stage um, uh, platforms and currently is, is ongoing trials of a non-small um, cell lung cancer. And that one's phase two and borderline respect, uh, respectable phase two and localized non uh, metastatic prostate cancer currently phase two and phase three. So hopefully um, good news coming from there. But this was the press release uh, that we, sh we can see from the company shared in our discord yesterday. And we can see they've released positive data uh, for phase two clinical trial of CAN2409 in non metastatic pancreatic cancer. So uh, this is great news and they we're looking at a, an estimated median survival of 28.8 months after the experimental treatment versus a, a, a similar 12.5 months. So that is a significant difference. And at 24 months, the survival rate was 71.4%. So again, that is quite significant as well. Uh, and at 36%, uh, sorry, 36 months, the survival rate was 47.6% versus 16.7% in the control group. So quite significant figures there. Uh, and uh, in other important uh, results from this um, finding, we can see that there were no new safety signals were obs observed, uh, uh, providing support that f in terms of the injections. And these were generally well tolerated with no, st no dose limiting Toxi uh, toxicities and no cases of pancreatitis. Uh, and previously analyzed of respected tumors showed that the activation of a robust anti-tumor immune system. So certainly seems to be working. Uh, and they've announced updated inter interim survival data from the phase two trial. And based on the data, uh, the FDA, we can see here, have granted fast track designation to the company. So uh, absolutely tremendous news there. And in terms of the key highlights that we've just seen, prolonged and sustained survival rates were observed. We've seen, uh, obviously, some of the uh, increases in uh, survival from a percentage point of view. But importantly, four of the seven patients who received uh, uh, this uh, treatment are still alive. And please, previous analysis, analysis of blood and respected tumors showed consistent and robust activation of an immune system. So uh, uh, again, tremendous news from this company and also a great run up in the share price. But uh, in all uh, bio stocks, it's always a good idea to take profits, protect profits, because they certainly run up very, very well, but they can come back very fast. So lots and lots of volatility, but great opportunities to take profit in this one. So finally, if you would like to get more breaking news about bio stocks in our bio channel, as well as daily stock alerts and weekly watch list, details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.